Welcome back to the Morning Blend. You know, racial inequities have been an important conversation, not only over the past year, but truly throughout Milwaukee's history. Milwaukee County's Office on African American Affairs was created in 2017 to help resolve racial issues and benefit all residents. That's right, and providing these resources during the COVID-19 pandemic has been crucial. And joining us from the OAAA is Executive Director, it's Jeff Roman. Good morning to you, Jeff. Good morning, Tiffany. Good morning, Andrew. How are you? We're doing well. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. You know, let's let's talk about this because we want to know a little bit about racial inequity in Milwaukee County. Why why this is so important? Because we know that it's something that's necessary. Yeah. So good morning again, and uh, thank you for the opportunity. We know that our community has historically challenged with racial equity, um, racial inequities in our community, um, and that our most vulnerable communities, black and brown communities, are all a lot of times at the brunt of disparities in our community. Um, and so for Milwaukee County, our racial equity work is really about lifting up our communities, particularly our most impacted communities um, who are really impacted by health and racial inequities. Um, and so for us, racial equity is not just about a project or a program, it's not just an initiative. It's our way of doing work. It has become or is becoming our business model. And that work started uh, about two and a half years ago in 2019 when Milwaukee County declared racism a public health crisis, working with our partners um, in the public health sector, working with our communities. Um, we knew that uh, we had to make that bold declaration and we had to take the bull by the horn um, and really be accountable for the disparities in our communities. Um, and Milwaukee County has positioned ourselves to make sure that we're holding ourselves accountable, but also working with our communities Community so that we're achieving racial equity to become the healthiest county in Wisconsin. Yeah, I know a lot of people are extremely happy to hear that. But Jeff, what are some of the resources that the county has been able to provide to residents to actually help support them during this pandemic? Sure, there are a number of things that we've done over the last year in response to COVID-19 and continue to do uh, with partners all across uh, uh, the footprint of Milwaukee County. Uh, the first effort that we have is our We Care crew, and that is a collaboration between our office, the Office of African American Affairs, our Department on Health and Human Services, our partners with the city, Office of Violence Prevention, our law enforcement partners, where we are actively in our green spaces throughout the community, um, which are access points to our community to be able to get the resources and supports that they need. We work with our parks department so that there um, is uh, a, an availability of resources to our community. Uh, we're also, uh, we're, we were also partnered with the Advancing Wisconsin Healthier Grant, um, Wisconsin Grant Program with the Medical College, working with the city of Milwaukee, where over a hundred, uh, five hundred thousand of dollars of investment came into Milwaukee to support and build awareness around COVID-19 and our response to black and brown communities. Um, and then the last thing, I want to say the last thing, but one of the kind of the things we want to elevate is the work that we did in partnership with the federal government with the redistrib redistribution of, fares, of CARES dollars into our community, where we work with a number of groups like the uh, our UEOC's Community Resilience Response Team, who are working with black and brown led organizations like Health Connections and Black Health Coalition and Diverse Resilience. Um, the work that we did with our Community Business Development Program, who uh, uh, was able to make sure that our MBEs, minority business enterprises and diverse business enterprises were able to access supports for business recovery. Um, and then the work of our Civic Response Team, uh, working in partnership with the Civic Response Team led by our partners in philanthropy to make sure that millions of dollars and resources went into Hard to, hit, hard to reach communities um, so that they had access to food, uh, to housing, um, to other mental health supports and other things to be able to respond and navigate through the pandemic that we're in. That is an incredible list of accomplishments uh, that you guys have been doing. I mean, truly, that's a lot of good work. Um, in terms of the pandemic specifically, because I know you mentioned the, the COVID cares and different types of grants like that. How has the pandemic shifted what you're doing towards racial equity and, and in the last year specifically and moving forward? I think that COVID-19, or I know that COVID-19 has really um, uh, embolden our stance and, and the work that we're doing around racial equity in that we are shifting how we show up in and respond to the community. Um, and we're working to elevate the voices and lived experiences so that those things can help describe and define the interventions and supports that we need in our community. We know that we um, have a long way to go. We've done some great work and we are connecting with the partners and the people in our communities who have the reach um, and the relevance to be able to impact our communities and the role of the Office of African American Affairs is to make sure that those partners are at the table and making sure that they have the resources to do the good work that they're doing and supporting them along the way. 
Great stuff, Jeff. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you yeah, so I much. I think for it's the great information. And it feels like we're definitely taking a step in the right direction, right, Agreed. Tim? Agreed. Yeah, so uh, still ahead, we're going to uh, be taking the fear. Oh, yeah, here, I'll give you this first. Jeff and his staff want Milwaukee County residents to know that rent assistance, by the way, is available. So here's what you can do. Just call the number on your screen. It's 414-270-4646. Also, energy assistance at 414-270-4MKE. That's the phone number there. We're going to put all this information on our website, themorningblend.com. So anything you need, you can find it there, as well as pass it on to a friend or someone in need. All right, now we're going to stay up to date with the Milwaukee County Office on African American Affairs. Here's how you can do that. You can follow them on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all the places. Check them out on the website. It's wecarecrewmke.com or the phone number 414-278-7979.